Well, Ross, thanks for joining us. It was a frustrating afternoon. Exactly that, Dave. Yeah, I think it was probably one of those days where um, we didn't quite hit the levels that, that we would want to hit. And I think what we have to do is realise that we are all human beings and people don't perform to their very, very best every week. We, we have short falls and off days and you know, I'm sure me and you have them every day when we go to work or every, other, you know, every now and again when we go to work. So I think we have to understand that there is going to be, um, you know, uh, underperformance sometimes uh, but I think what we then need to, to do is, is come through those so I think at the moment we look like a team that are really good and win or when we're not quite as good we, we get beat and I think um, we need to we need to try to bring that a little bit closer I think and, and uh, come through games like today where you haven't, haven't you know haven't performed and don't hit your heights to uh, to still get some sort of result out of it Just the one goal and it seemed to be a move that could easily have been avoided yeah, I haven't looked at it back yet, but I think we were overloaded on on uh, Sam's side of the pitch. Um, they've hit a, a long ball, and you know it's found one of those players, and we've not dealt with that well enough and left ourselves exposed. But um, it's a poor goal to concede. But I'm not sure if you concede one very often that you uh, that you would accept as being a, a you know overly a good goal. So disappointed. And not long before that, it looked as if there was a strong shout for a penalty. And had Connor Wilkinson gone down, he might have got the decision. Yeah, I think um, it's what we want from football, isn't it? It's what we want really in terms of do we want people to chuck themselves all over the floor and scream and shout like I saw quite a bit today outside the box and you win a free kick, but yet you try to be honest and run through. Um, What puzzles me is there's a number of those opportunities for us today. There was one, I could see it quite clearly from where I was standing, where the guy's got Dan Appy in a bear rug as he's trying to edit into the goal from a corner. Leanne Goal runs through. I'm going to go and ask the referee at the end. His answer is, your player was grappling with their one. What, on all three occasions? So I think, um, by no means will I point to the fact that the, uh, the referee is the reason why we got beat today. I think we've already said that, is that it was our underperformance. But at the same time, it helps you a little bit when I say about making those margins up when, when you create very clear opportunities and, and should be rewarded with a penalty. I certainly couldn't understand why Brophy and McInerf were booked, but there was no complaint I would imagine about uh, Dan Happy? No, it was one of those, wasn't it? The boy breaks down that right-hand side and, and, and Dan's just late getting there and, and gives the foul. I think, um, I think, I think what, what we had just an issue with is the amount of our players that seemed to get booked today for uh, things that, 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 that didn't warrant that when there was two or three moments in the first half. I've learned a new rule today that a player doesn't get booked when the ref plays play on I mean we had two moments one in front of the dugout one in the middle of the pitch in the first half where Tunji's legs were swiped away I think it was Ruel just down here in front of the dugout totally wiped out but because the ref played play on they don't book you anymore so new rule on me but like I say uh, again no excuses on on that part but for me uh, um, an exposed performance I think that's what we've seen from the referee today is there's no crowd here it's all on him to make decisions and he didn't make some he made some very poor ones Difficult circumstances for Nick Freeman to make his debut. Yeah, that's tough, isn't it? I mean, you only got to stand here now, Dave, and look at this side of the pitch. It's a mud pit, you know, in terms of Nick trying to run and carry the ball, which we know is his strengths. And the first touch he got, I could almost see him look up and go, where am I supposed to go with this one? So, yeah, it can't be too critical. The game was stretched. The game was all over the place. And um, we just we hoped that Nick would come on and show a little bit of quality to, to create something for us. But, yeah, no, you know, no, uh, nothing to, to overanalyze today. Danny Johnson, obviously a big absentee. What is the news on the late noise, uh, leading marksman? Uh, well, frustrating one, really, because I was talking to Dan today. He's been on the bike getting his exercise work in this morning and it's um, pain-free on that front. But obviously there has been some damage to, to, the, to his knee that we've got to wait for him to get over. So um, it's going to be a delay. There's going to be a bit more time with us in terms of um, waiting for him to recover from that. We'll probably see a little bit this week, hopefully the back end of the week, with him out on the pitch doing some work to see if he can if he can start his his, his running. So um, I won't. It's not me avoiding it, but I just you can't really put a time scale on it. I, we, we 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 believe it's not like a long term issue, but I think in the world that we're living in and the football season we're living in at the moment, it always feels like that because there's so many games crammed in that, you know, that he could end up missing a few. Any injuries, other injuries as we look ahead to Bolton next week? Yeah, concern for Lee. Uh, Lee come off there, um, I'm not sure when it was in terms of minutes, but Lee come off there with tight hamstring, different hamstring to the one he's done before. 
So I ho- I'm hoping it's just some soreness and, and tightness rather than uh, rather than an issue he's been faced with. We obviously brought Ruel off very very late with with some of that in in um, in mind. You know, it, it might seem crazy to bring a, a striker off, but Ruel was fatigued and and we were concerned that obviously with the football that we've got coming up, with Danny being out, with Lee coming off with a hamstring injury, we don't want to lose 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 Ruel as well so sort of threw caution to the wind in terms of putting Corks up there for the last 10 minutes but uh, so far Lees is the only concern You went with an unchanged lineup. Yeah uh, I think you do when you win games of football Dave I think mentioned before the game to the uh, to the boys for the stream or, or whatever it was that um, there were there were performances last week where, where Dan Kemp came on and impressed when Hector came on and impressed and push themselves very very close to me changing my mind but when you've won a few games on the spin it's important to try to maintain that consistency and there's been a movement in the transfer window could there be more comings and goings before that Bolton game I would expect so yeah we've done some work over the last couple of days where um, we've we've I say met with people you don't do that anymore do you but we've spoken to people and we feel we've put the um, what's the words we've put the plans in place and the and the structures in place to allow to do that so now it'll be a case of Get, trying to get those over the line, certainly one, and uh, we'll see what else develops throughout the next the next week. And is that a player coming in or somebody leaving? Oh, sorry, David, didn't quite answer your question well enough. I think certainly one coming in. Uh, I think sorry, that was, that was an overview by me. Um, yeah, certainly one that, that that we'll look to be bringing in. Um, not sort of looking too much at, at people going out at the moment, but I'm sure with with people that are not playing and not involved right now that, that, that there might be some movement. But I think um, we'll we'll sort of suck and see that one throughout the week. Would I be pushing my luck if I asked what sort of position? Um, no, I think we've 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 added attackers and midfield players, so we'll probably look more in the in the defensive area. But like like I said there, I think with the way the week might look and, and pan out, it might be something that we have to look in in another area already you know if Lee's injury continues to be worse than than we're hoping at the moment um, you know we don't want to add too many if, if they're only going to be out for a game or so so it's something we've got to keep our eye on but I think um, it'd be potentially uh, someone more, more defence minded that, that would be potentially bringing in um, this week 